The advantage of working with normal colloquial terminology is that no new terms need to be learned and understood. However, the danger is that some terms may mean different things to different people. A chemist might understand a recipe to be the chemical composition, whereas the system engineer considers it to be a sequence of steps. Within a process engineering environment, it is therefore important that everybody speaks the same language and uses the same terminology. With this in mind, a basis for terminology was provided by NAMUR, the User Association for Process Control in the Chemical and Pharmaceutical Industries, with NE33. The ISA did much the same with the ISA 88 batch standard. Important terms, for example, include master recipe, control recipe, batch, and process. ISA 88 corresponds to the older ISA S88, whose name was changed. Where ISA S88 is mentioned, ISA 88 is always meant. A master recipe contains the instructions for manufacturing a product with all its input and output materials. A master recipe can either identify specific units to be used in producing the product or specific unit classes from which a unit, when needed, can be selected manually by the operator or automatically by the batch manager. A control recipe is a copy of the master recipe where additional information specific to the batch has been added. A batch is the amount of a product to be made with specified equipment within a defined production run. The production run itself is also called a batch. A recipe procedure describes the unique sequence of chemical, physical, or biological activities required to produce a product. A master recipe is comprised of several components. A header, a procedure, a formula, and an equipment requirement. The recipe header contains general information about the product. Since uniform terminology is important, we will briefly align the language of the chef with that of ISA 88. For the chef, spaghetti bolognese is a dish. For ISA 88, it is a product name. The chef calls the standard amount for which the recipe is intended something like number of persons. In ISA 88, it is called reference scale. The chef would call minced meat mushrooms and pasta, ingredients. ISA 88 calls them input materials. A recipe procedure is comprised of one or more unit recipes that can, in turn, consist of several recipe operations. The cooking instructions in our example can be mapped to the recipe procedure. The first part of the cooking instructions, make bolognese, consists of five substeps. The first three substeps cover the preparation of the dish and in unit recipe one are mapped to the recipe operation called preparation. Warming up the pan is mapped to the heat recipe operation of unit recipe one and the fifth substep to the simmer recipe operation of unit recipe one. The instructions two through four are mapped to unit recipes two, three, and four. At this point, the actual pan or pot that will be used in making the bolognese dish has not been specified. In other words, which unit will be used for production is still unknown. The master recipe is therefore still neutral in terms of equipment and allows flexible planning of the necessary production facilities. The ability to formulate master recipes without stipulating the specific equipment means a considerable cost savings in both master recipe creation and maintenance. One important criterion in the classification of batch process cells is whether or not different products can be created in the same process cell. A second important criterion is whether one or more production lines are available to produce the product or products. If there is only one production line and one product, this is known as a single line, single product process cell. If several production lines are available to produce a product, this is known as a multiple line, single product process cell. If several products are produced in a process cell, this is known as a single line, multiple product or multiple line, multiple product process cell, depending on the production lines available.